And now back to TSPN News with Tom Slyvik. Comprehensive news because in today's world, you need more than just sound bites. TSPN streaming on the World Wide Web and on demand at TSPNTV.com. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to TSPN's News for today. I'm Tom Slavik, and we're talking with uh, Pfizer. And uh, before we get in back to Brian, let's talk about uh, Springtime in the Foothills. That's a flower and garden show put on uh, by three great groups here in Amador County. And there's going to be uh, spectacular bonsai exhibits, Amador winning wildflower display, I love that, and the annual plant and bake sale. And... Uh, that's held at the uh, Jackson Senior Center for Saturdays and Sundays from 11 to 4 p.m. So it's a great thing to make. It uh, does a lot of good for the uh, gardens, and believe me, it's a beautiful display, and it's a good place to buy plants, not to mention uh, a great bake sale as well. Okay, Brian, we wanted to talk some about uh, water, and today, you know, after this newscast, I'm going to be uh, going to the uh, AWA boardroom, and they're going to be uh, giving a presentation and that's at 2 o'clock on uh, water and use and some things like that. I read, I read the agenda. There's about three items on there. Basically, it's put information out to the public. Now, you wanted to talk about that as well. How's the, yeah. what's, what's happening with the Board of Supervisors and the, uh, and the water issues? Well, first off, I'll probably see you there at 2. I'm thinking, Tom, if all goes well. You know, one of the big things in water in this county, I believe, is the McCallum River. All right. Because if you look at where every incorporated town gets their water from in Amador County, it's McCallum River. Um, and many of the unincorporated towns or areas get their water from McCallum River. And I think about the only area that doesn't would be down in, um, you have some uh, Jacksonville Irrigation District. There's a little area down there. They get some water there. And they're not supposed to use it for potable purpose. I think some people have in the past. And they're trying to get that straightened around. You have like Lake Comanche or Village area out there where they get their water off wells. But other than that, it all comes out of McCallum River. And so what you have, the McCollum is our main water source. And if you go to the other river we have in this county, the Consumnes, that's the one that they say is, you know, one of the last undammed wild free rivers in California. So I don't, the chance of getting a reservoir on site or off site on the Consumnes River probably in the foreseeable future, probably pretty, uh, pretty small. Plymouth used to get, uh I believe more water from uh, from the consumers than they get now. Is it? Are they still? Is that is that ditch still running, Brian? Are you, Author of Royal Ditch. Going to the, basically, I think it yeah. goes and services the fairgrounds and and uh, and the trailer uh, uh, park there next door. They're using it for that, but also that Royal Ditch used to go clear down to I want to say um, all down the Ione area. Okay. Um, and down maybe even like Rancho Marietta, I, I believe, because that, that's an old ditch. Um, these, these take a lot of water off there. Was Rancho Marietta, and with its growth, thinking of uh, using that water from the Consumnes? I believe Rancho Marietta right now, they have uh, they take water off the Consumnes down okay. there. They have some pumps and stuff. And I think they have some reservoirs they pump certain times a year, and they store it in the reservoirs. Okay. Um, but also that Arroyo Ditch has some pretty major... But well, I think your point was is that we probably aren't going to get much water from the Consumnes River. Is that correct? Well, I wouldn't say you're not getting any water, but as far as building a reservoir okay. on river or off river... I don't see it happening in the foreseeable future, and it could be just a huge fight because it's one of the last undammed rivers or wild rivers in California. So, I mean, they're going to say, you know, you can't do that. Um, and also of note is the Royal Ditch had some pretty major fire damage from that um, sand fire. All right. And I think Plymouth is trying to get some uh, some funding to repair it um, back to, to um, oh, I guess to the repair that it was. Um, but also, so going... Looking at the colony, so what's been going on now? There's been a big wild and scenic fight. I'm sure you're you're well aware of it. Sure. And so I'm looking, at saying that's our water supply for all intents and purposes for Amador County. And there's people that are there's a certain group, and I'll I'll, I'll just say you got friends of the river and you have Foot Oak Conservancy. You're saying we're here to you know to help the public and help the businesses and save the river. And uh, the question I'd have is. Um, Maybe, they, maybe they, if they're out to just make sure no, no more water's taken off that river, okay, fine, that's their position. But how are they here to help the community and blah, blah, blah? Um, I don't see where shutting off our water supply is in the best interest of this, this county or the people in this county. 
Another item, well, be, another, we, another we, item of interest, Tom, was I've talked to some people from East Bay Mud here recently, board members, and I'd say they're, they're pretty, pretty straight out gentlemen. And I said, you know, I have, I run, under um, Big Lewis a, AB 142, I says, why didn't you folks want to have a wild and scenic below your reservoirs? Because a wild and scenic starts at party reservoir and goes up. Right. They said, well, we have to make sure we have water available for our, for our residents. I thought, okay, I, I respect that. That's, I think they're pretty straight up. Give me a pretty, pretty honest answer. It's, it's probably their, uh... So they're protecting their residents because they don't want wild and scenic below from their reservoirs down because that will affect their water supply. So my question is, well, why in the hell do we want to put wild and scenic where we get our water supply? And so if you look at the group, I mean, so they're protecting, so the Foothill Conservancies are protecting the river from party up. What about party down? Do they not care about that section of the river? Or is it all just politics, Tom? I'd like to hear that answer from well, I think there's quite a lot Foothill of politics Conservancy and some in, of their minions. involved in, uh, in how to control that river. Oh, there's, there's, there's quite a bit there, yeah. And the thing is, um, I, I think it, it's something I'd like to have an option remain available to Amador County, like if we want to get more water, like figure out a way to raise Bear River Reservoir, something like that. That option should be available to this county. And I believe if you put wild and scenic designation on that river, um, that option will be foreclosed upon. It'll be gone. And other, and other options. Um, they're selling, they're basically, they're selling um, a pig and a poke. And they're telling us how nice and fat the pig is and how it'll be all wonderful and good for Amador County. Well, with, I don't, I don't think right it's now, a, with this, uh, a good thing at all. Obvious that we're in a drought, and sure. uh, California was in and out of droughts. We all know. Uh, I think this one might have been lasting longer, where they had uh, emptied some reservoirs uh, years, a few years back, and they haven't had an opportunity to come back up. Well, not just I'm a few not years back. Sure it's been even what, ongoing. What all, the, what all the issues are, but it sounds to me like we're trying to say, how do we get more water stored? So isn't that one of the pushes from the uh, governor? Or seems like it's not that? Or Well, you're talking about the emptied reservoirs a few years back. That's somewhat true, but they're either are or want to empty, empty reservoirs now for fish flows. And now, and I guess you got to look at it saying how many fish where... How effective um, putting more flows will be towards saving the fish? They're talking about their, they want to let out, what, 15,000 acre feet or, some, or somewhere along that line because there's, was it like seven salmon that haven't yet started to go back to the ocean? And this will help them go back to the ocean. And 15,000 acre feet of water, that's a lot of water. I mean, you're, you're talking. Also, here on the McCullumy, uh, Amador, don't County, we still Amador County uses, I think, about 15,000 acre feet, period. Don't we still have uh, uh, kayak flows uh, here on the McCullumy or not? Is my uh, you know my there's been I believe there is. There's been talk about curtailing them. Um, if they haven't, they should. And it's and the question I, I I haven't researched it yet. I wouldn't mind a kayak flow so much if they're if they're taking water out of Dam A and Dam B will still catch it and you, and you got flows in between. Hey, fine, you're not losing that water. Right. Um, it's just being used uh, uh, efficiently. Yeah, and now it may also, the only problem there may be is say maybe if Amador County, for we can get water to Dam A, and once it goes to Dam B, now we no longer can, that might be a problem. Um, something I need to look into. Because uh, I think um, recreation is a luxury. Water is an essential. So do you, and if, you, if you, what I'm saying is to go out and do luxury items, you don't have to do them. But to have water to survive, to grow your crops with, I think that's an essential. So that's what you got to look okay. at. Okay, maybe we can move on to an, another uh, aspect. Uh, it's actually not an aspect of this, but it's still out there in the environment, and that is the uh, trees in Amador County. Now I know you, uh, mm -hmm. you know, you're a tree feller, and uh, your family was in the timber industries and things like that. And I've seen. Uh, years back, Larry Sonato invited a gentleman on that goes around and he takes photographs of uh, old areas. Well, actually, mm -hmm. he sees old photographs taken and the vegetation then goes out and takes another one at that area. And nearly all of them, I'm, all of them, all the pictures that I've seen, show tremendous growth in the uh, forests. Uh, that's not too uh, good for fire. Uh, you know, not at all. For possible, uh, you know, more fuels in, in the area, but also it doesn't seem like an efficient use of the timber 
uh, to be able to use the timber as well, the large timber to uh, build with, not small well, shipper, I can, I shredder can, timber. But. Yeah, I can address that, Tom. Um, I grew up in the mountains. We spent, you know, all summer up there basically running cattle, and then later on I did like logging and um, along that line. In the forest, I think are being mismanaged um, severely. P part of it, I mean, maybe part of it may be. You could say maybe some some of the past practices were good, some were not good. Um, putting that all aside, we should, we should going forward. We should be taking the right actions, and the forest should not be near as thick as they are. And it's where I get really upset with some environmental groups because they say, "Oh, we're going to save the forest and don't touch them." And my retort to them is, "Yeah, we're going to we're just going to let them burn instead." We either have to start managing our forests, clean them up, or you're going to see those. And I've been saying it for years. You're going to see those catastrophic burns. Well, I went on Comcast a number of years ago and talked about that. But now we've had the Rim Fire. We've had the King Fire, which were major fires. And when, when those, those fires get that hot, they're burning. They're not just going through and burning the underbrush and, you know, a little, a little right. bit of duff. They're going through and they're wiping it out. Yeah, you've got uh, 30 seconds to finish up, Brian. So I believe so. Yeah, need need to clean up your forest. And you know what? I, I would also recommend people, homeowners, go through and thin out your trees, leave your nicer, bigger trees, open it up. Your trees will be they have more room to grow. They'll be happier and healthier. It's like a garden. You weed your garden. My advice is weed, weed your landscaping and make yourself a little bit big, better fire break, and maybe you'll save your house. Okay. Thanks for coming by, Brian. And uh, remember, you, the board of supervisors meeting is tomorrow. So if you're interested in any of those uh, items that. Uh, we talked about, uh, stop by and uh, weigh in on them. I'm Tom Slavik. Thanks for watching TSPN's News. We'll see you again next time. You're watching Amador County's local television network.